slip to add to a base. Sometimes you're just adding dirt that has a pretty high clay content. You need to add sand. So you're mixing those two dry materials, and then you're measuring the water. So everything can be measured and just stay consistent just once you get it down. But you may make minor adjustments because even by midday, your materials are drying out more in the sun. So if your sand pile is, gets wet at night, your ratios are changing the day before. It's nice to cover all your sand and all your materials. It's nice to have, keep them covered um, if it's going to be raining. That so if you don't bury the moisture content too much, test it, test it, and you'll find out if you need to add sand, add clay. We just knew that the tan breeze had a really low clay content. We probably, for top, for sculptability, we probably needed to be adding sand. Just start using it with, on a board, okay?
was saying, well, mine, um, yeah, a little wetter, but it was pretty high clay contact because it was really sticking on my hand. So, you know, one thing you could do is, um, is you know, you like you could add more sand to looks like this because it's pretty high clay. But I'd really, I mean, I wouldn't make big decisions until I did tests and had it dry. And, Okay, so grab a board, grab a lump, and work it, play with it. Now, here's your opportunity to sculpt your, your dream house. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You can do <laughs> dog anything you want. A absolutely anything you want. There you go. Go for it. Serve it later. <laughs> so what we should probably do is um, get ready. Yep. So let's contain the rest of the mixes into buckets. And Yeah, so we're done with that.